Hello everyone, this is Elizabeth with Scott Leroy Marketing and in this tip video I'm going to show you the new feature of how to sign documents from within your opportunity without having to create the envelope in DocuSign. So first things first, we are in the opportunity already and underneath the documents tab. And on the back end, I do already have a KW Rooms DocuSign account created and connected to command. That will still be required to electronically sign, so be sure that those two things are also already taken care of. So first things first, you're going to find whichever checklist item that you are dealing with today. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach a file from my computer. So that the PDF is loaded in. Now for this example, I have the lead base paint and we're pretending that the other side of the transaction client and agent has already signed and initialed and my client has already signed or initialed. So last, I just need to initial or sign to make sure that this is completed. So I've loaded in that document I've received from my client. Then I will check the box next to that checklist item. Now, if there is more than one document that you need to sign, you can check more. And once you do, you'll see that this sign documents is now live and ready to use. So with that box checked, you'll click sign documents and you'll see two banners at the top. Now you will need to enable pop-ups if your browser does not already have them enabled because it will open a new tab. And for this, I am also in Google Chrome incognito, which as a reminder can be done through the three dot menu at the very top right. And once that loads, you'll see DocuSign working, where I can just click continue. I can adopt and sign with whichever initials I need to, or signatures, or dates, whatever I need to fill in here. You know, maybe there is also some fields I can add in like some text. You know, whichever needs to be completed for this document. Then I'll click finish. Where that tab will then close and I'll be directed back to the opportunity where may need a refresh, may need to just give it a few moments, but we should see that document connected to that checklist item change to the signed version. And here we see that now has signed in the document name. So that is how you can use the brand new feature of sign documents within the documents tab of the opportunity in command. Let us know if you have any questions surrounding this or anything else, but I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.